and one of the 101 Dalmatians. A different Disney character each week at Hardee's. Hardee's, we cook good food, good food. Ladies and gentlemen and my fellow alcoholics, welcome to the desert. There's my shadow. There's my truck, again, with the uh, wireless microphone on it. The problem is, well, the wind just picked up. So that's unfortunate. So depending on which microphone's actually working, it's hard to tell. Again, there's my wireless receiver. I'm pretty sure if I go to the top of this mountain, I'm gonna lose signal, which is gonna suck. That means you're gonna have to read off of the uh, GoPro like old times. But let's get up here and see what the view is. By the way, oh, shotgun. I may get in trouble. If you see military police, you'll tell me, right? Because literally, this is the edge. Oop, as I twist my ankle, send help. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lost signal, so I'm relying on the GoPro, which sucks even worse with winds. So, anyways, hopefully you can hear me, but yeah. Right over there, you see a white sign that is uh, same for over here. So at the end of the road there, that is army territory that's also army territory with a bomb so yeah this is the edge <laughs> don't want to go any further you might get arrested or exploded so and then if i turn over here towards the wind won't talk as much it may just be muted segments of me talking but that's the valley There's antelope, there's a plane, a crop duster actually flying in front of the mountain there if you're looking. Over there's Welton, Telegraph Pass, and Yuma's on the other side. It is also looking towards the river, which you can see there also. So this is where I grew up. Well, more accurately, cities where I grew up. We would go out here hunting. Well, not government land. Well, technically this is all government land, that's just the government land with people with guns. Not so much on this side. So, also, if you look right there, essentially above my truck, there's a, uh, you can see like a structure there. That's a water hole where uh, the game and fish sets up little tanks of water so wildlife can come by and drink the water. So, matter of fact, when me and my dad were here today, earlier, scared up a deer or two running into government land. Hopefully they didn't get blown up. But I thought, nothing else, let me just do a couple pans here before I go back down and see if this audio is still working. But regardless, I thought I'd at least do a nice little panoramic of the lovely desert. Again, I love the flat desert. Oh, so, okay, my dad, he takes the grandkids, the niece and nephews down here, so they can learn to drive standard on this road without having to worry about, you know, running over bushes or traffic. Anyways, show the lovely desert that I remember and love. Ah, not exactly in the shadow, am I? I'm gonna be just edge. Come on, son, just go down a little bit more. Anyways, yeah, again, this is what I love about my desert. My desert, I own it, no. Is that I just sit out here all day. I could literally be by that naked and probably no one except for the government spies looking at me. Matter of fact, there is a if you looked over there somewhere, I don't know if I could find it in my footage, there is a drug blimp uh, here somewhere over that mountain that was over there. It, you can't, it's hard to see during the day, but during sunset and sunrise, you can see a little black dot in the orange sky. So, but yeah, I mean, you literally just sit out here. I mean, it is beautiful today. Not to rub it into anyone that has, you know, cold weather or snow. Matter of fact, I see the blimp right now. It's right behind you. Uh, so hi blimp. I am taking drugs in the desert. Anyways, uh, well, I mean as much as this is so But today we are looking at black Irish salted caramel. There you go Which is a uh, 7.5% alcohol or 34% so this is the same uh, Percentage as the other black Irish is the original which was actually chocolate and um the uh, white chocolate. Now this is salted caramel. So again, I am picking the wussy ones, quote unquote, because again, I'm still driving. Admittedly, I'm out here 
And trust me, there are plenty of beer cans from people just chucking them and chucking and going as they drink in the desert. But uh, no, I want to get home safely. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be back to the random nature of picking any of them, but also be in a hotel room. So where there'll be less car noises. So I don't have to pollute the air as much when I just have to record a microphone. So also one of my shot glasses I brought with me, I brought three of these broke on me so hmm, gotta be careful anyways the pour oh yeah that's a liqueur i mean liqueur that's a cream so it pours just like bailey's so it is that creamy liqueur i mean creamy irish cream a bit redundant isn't it anyways i smell what i think they're attempting to be um salted caramel what I actually smell is more of salt and chocolate, so. But yeah, like I could almost just sit here for a while, and I might, just enjoying the view. Uh, again, I love all these mountains. We used to go out hunting all the way out here, camping, all this stuff. Again, it was just nice to have a desert you can go to. Like in Phoenix, I don't know where I can go that's legal. Like, I know this land is okay to be driven on. I don't know in Phoenix what land is safe to drive on, hunt, or shoot guns, or bow and arrow, more accurately. I guess that's just familiarity, excuse me, with the area, so. Ah, but yep, yeah, today's, what, the second day after Christmas, for you anyways. But yeah, it is, again, shoe fly that's the other downside is it's amazing we're in the middle of the desert yet i stay here more than a couple minutes i'm instantly bombarded by house flies i don't know how they find us anyways but yeah i again this is amazingly beautiful out here that's why i love arizona you survive six months eight nine months of brutal summer for the three months of beautiful weather so here's to enjoying Oh, I want to say enjoying your childhood home, but here's to the lovely desert. Mmm. Okay. So, that was a new path. You know, you've been going one way your whole life. You decide to go another way around. And it actually isn't bad. Nightly a little bit better, but you might prefer your old path. So, it goes in, instantly hit with alcohol and milk. That kind of weird, like, oh, this isn't bad. But then it's, again, it instantly, fucking flies. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, then you're fucking flies. I, I don't know what happened. I was drinking one second. All of a sudden, me and flies were having intimate relationships. No, um... It goes in, you have that little bit of alcohol sense that then it's instantly into that nice creamy uh, Bailey's cream, Irish cream, etc., etc. Now, and again, there's a chocolate taste throughout. So it's a hot cocoa taste. It's at the tail end that you get that salty, creamy caramel taste. So what I mean by it's a different path is most of the salted caramel stuff I tasted, it's salty right off the bat, or caramel, mix of both, right off the bat. This, it gives you this nice creamy uh, liqueur, chocolate cream. Then at the tail end as it's going down, that's when they hit you with that creamy caramel. And that's what's lingering. So the initial taste was standard black Irish. The aftertaste is creamy salted caramel. So that is good. So yeah, like I said, it's a different path. So rather than hitting you initially, they hit you afterwards with it. Kind of like a parting note. So, whew. again, when I got here, the wind wasn't bad, but now all of a sudden the wind's picking up. That's why also I picked this spot. I'm in the, um, as you can see, the shade of my truck as well as the shade of the heel. So the wind's being broken up a little bit by heel. So hopefully, I just know as the camera move, maybe the wind's blowing the camera? I don't know. Luckily, this has a little shake filter on it. Anyways, let me quickly turn you around. Bright eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. So, out 
Okay, it's right there. So right above. Oh, I'm going to have to point this out and post where the uh, drug blimp is. So yeah, that's a Border Patrol blimp. Again, that's north. South is this way. So that's a bit a blimp watching over the desert towards the uh, the border, which is that way. So yeah, again, interesting place we I grew up in, because again, uh, army base over there, as you saw, past that far mountain over there is a marine base. So you go f too far that direction, you get bombed. You go too far that direction, you get bombed. So. You have to stay in your lane, otherwise that lane may explode un underneath you. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that mountain there with a bit of rubble on it, like uh, they take it off for uh, gravel. Anyways, that's my high school. That's where the high school is. So, anywho. But that was ages ago. Oh yeah, there's a crop duster. I can see it, again, uh, flying low. Slow and low, if you will. But anyways, tomorrow, when we meet each other again, I'll be in, well, Las Vegas, Henderson. I'll be in a hotel room, so it'll be a bit quieter as far as the microphone's concerned. It's hard to beat this quiet, except for the polluting truck engine I have to have on for my microphone. But again, I do just love this view. So again, I'm going to move you over there. Actually, I'm going to move you to the top of the hill, and then I'm going to let you enjoy the view while I pack up. So uh, hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, have a nice day, nice rest, and are you ready for New Year's? Actually, I'm not either. Well, hopefully we'll be ready together. Until then, see you next time. Bye.